In statistics, a measure of central tendency is a single value that represents the typical or central value of a set of data. They are useful for summarizing large amounts of data into a single value and can provide insights into the distribution and variability of the data. The most commonly used measures of central tendency are the mean, median, and mode. Mean The mean, also known as the arithmetic mean or average, is calculated by adding up all the values in a data set and then dividing by the total number of values. The mean is a commonly used measure of central tendency, as it provides a simple and intuitive way to summarize a set of data with a single value. However, it can be affected by outliers or extreme values that are much higher or lower than the rest of the data. In such cases, the median or mode might be more appropriate measures of central tendency. Strengths of mean The mean is a commonly used measure of central tendency because it provides a simple and intuitive way to summarize a set of data with a single value. It is useful for normally distributed data, where the mean provides a good estimate of the center of the data. Weaknesses of mean the mean can be affected by outliers or extreme values that are much higher or lower than the rest of the data, which can skew the value higher or lower. It may not be the best measure of central tendency for skewed or non-normal data. Median The median is the middle value in a data set when the values are arranged in order from lowest to highest. If there are an even number of values, the median is the average of the two middle values. The median is a useful measure of central tendency because it is less sensitive to extreme values, or outliers, compared to the mean. However, it may not provide a good summary of the data if there are many ties, or values that occur with the same frequency. In such cases, the mode might be more appropriate. Strengths of median The median is less sensitive to extreme values compared to the mean and can provide a better representation of the typical value for skewed data or data with outliers. Weaknesses of median The median may not provide a good summary of the data if there are many ties, or values that occur with the same frequency. It is also less precise compared to the mean because it only uses one or two values to represent the entire data set. Mode the mode is the most frequently occurring value in a data set. The mode is a useful measure of central tendency for categorical data, such as colors or types of cars, as well as for continuous data that have a discrete set of values, such as test scores or ages. However, it may not be useful for continuous data that have a large number of possible values or values that occur with similar frequencies. In such cases, the mean or median might be more appropriate measures of central tendency. Strengths of mode The mode is useful for identifying the most commonly occurring category in a categorical variable, or the value that occurs most frequently in a data set. It is also useful for discrete data that have a small number of possible values. Weaknesses of mode the mode may not exist or may not be unique if no value occurs more than once or multiple values occur with the same frequency. It is also not a good measure of central tendency for continuous data or data with a large number of possible values. It's important to note that while measures of central tendency can be useful, they are only one aspect of data analysis and should be interpreted in conjunction with other measures of variability and distribution. Some common uses of measures of central tendency include Describing the average value The mean is often used to describe the average value of a data set. For example, the mean income of a population can provide a useful summary of their economic well-being. Identifying outliers Outliers are values that are much higher or lower than the rest of the data. Measures of central tendency can help identify outliers that might skew the analysis. For example, if the median household income in a neighborhood is much lower than the mean, it might indicate a few very low-income households. Comparing different groups 
Measures of central tendency can be used to compare the central values of different groups or subgroups within a data set. For example, comparing the average test scores of different schools can provide insights into their relative performance. Estimating missing values. Measures of central tendency can be used to estimate missing values in a data set. For example, if the average score on a test is 75%, and a student missed the test, it might be reasonable to assume that their score would have been close to the average. Please click subscribe and bell button. Don't forget to like, comment, share.